Praise the Lord, everybody. We're here again. It's another beautiful morning in Glasgow, Virginia. We're just very close to Lexington here in Rockbridge County. This is the grave of Captain John Paxton. The, this tombstone says, Sacred to the Memory of John Paxton, who died October the 3rd, 1787. He was 44 years of age. This is Captain John, who was in the Revolutionary War. He was stationed at Valley Forge uh, with President Washington, the then General George Washington. And his wife, Phoebe Alexander, rode all the way from here in Rockbridge County, Virginia, to Valley Forge by horseback to take him food and clothing. I never get tired of telling that story because these are two genuine American heroes, in my opinion. And if we come over here, this is the little plaque right here. And I'll read it while Angie focuses on it. It says, In Memoriam, Captain John Paxton, a revolutionary soldier, and Phoebe Alexander, his wife, who rode horseback through the wilderness to carry food and clothing to him at Valley Forge. This was erected by the Natural Bridge Chapters of the Daughters of the American Revolution in Glasgow, Virginia. Many of these graves here are Paxton's. In fact, I think this whole side and these several right here is the Paxton family who settled this area. Uh, one of the earliest settlers, they were among the earliest settlers in the early 1730s. And so our history goes back in this part of Virginia way, 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 way back. We were Scots-Irish. We came over from the planted community in Ulster, uh, Protestants, and they came to forge out a new life here in the United States of America. Of course, then it was just the Americas. I never get tired of coming here and honoring his memory and her memory and telling the story. Uh, this is how America was founded, was situations and examples just like this one here.